Welcome back to our video tutorial series where we are learning how to create Minecraft worlds using Python code. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to build a simple path so you can walk on some paths as you get around in your Minecraft world. To get started on this tutorial today, what I want you to do is load up Mew, which is our Python editor, and write in the first two lines of code that we always write in when we are coding with Minecraft. So the first line of code simply says from um, mcpy.minecraft import all that's what that little asterisk means so we're importing all the functions from a module called minecraft which is basically giving us access to the code that will allow us to build things in our minecraft world the second line of code here mc equals minecraft.create is just getting the two apps mu and minecraft talking to each other so once they're all connected and set up I want you to move down a little bit into your coding window and I want you to add in these few lines of code which we learnt about in our last tutorial. These lines of code clear our world so we've got an empty canvas to work on. So if I look around my Minecraft world at the moment, it's completely empty and that's what we're going to start all our tutorials like from now on. So just to quickly explain what's happening here in case you forget, the first line of code, we're basically setting air blocks from the ground level up. So everywhere above the ground level in my Minecraft world are blocks of invisible air. So any mountains or structures that have been built there previously are knocked out of the world and replaced with invisible air. That's what gives us that empty canvas look. The second line of code simply adds a layer of grass to our world. Well, actually adds three layers of grass, but what you can see is that grass layer at our feet and that just gives us a nice um, canvas to draw on top of. You don't have to use grass, but I think we, it looks best when we're building on top of grass. So let's just roll with that for now. Okay, so we've got all our starting code in. Get used to writing that at the beginning of each program that you write from now on. And we are ready to start creating our path. So the first thing I want to do is I want to set up the coordinates um, for our path. So I'm going to put in a comment first of all. It says set the path coordinates and remember we have our three axis in our Minecraft world the X the Y and the Z axis and we basically need to tell um, the computer where we'd like to start building our path by listing those three coordinates so I'm going to make three variables here one called X one called Y and one called Z thinking back to previous videos again variables are just like buckets, I suppose, they're things that can hold information in your program. So the information that's going to be held inside of these three buckets or these three variables are the coordinates we would like to use for our path. So we're going to start at 0, 0, 0 for all three coordinates, which is basically the center of your Minecraft world. One other thing I would like to define here is which block we are going to be using to build with today. Now you can use any of the blocks from your block ID list. I'm going to keep it simple and just run with stone, which is block number one. So I am going to put in one final comment. It says block to build with. I'm going to call this variable stone. And inside of that variable, I'm going to store the number one because that is its block ID. All right, so now that you've got your coordinates set and you know which block you want to build with, you're ready to start building your path. And the code that we're going to be using to build the path is no different to what you've done in previous videos. So I'm going to quickly put in a comment that says build the path. And we're just going to write the code to put multiple blocks of stone into our world. So it's mc.setBlocks. You should be familiar with that function by now. Remember, it's got the S on the end, just telling Minecraft that we want multiple blocks put into our world here. If you're only putting one block in, we just use the set block function. But because we're using the set blocks function, we're able to put multiple blocks into the world to build our path. Now, inside the brackets, the round brackets here, we need to tell Minecraft its starting coordinates. So I'm going to start on the x-axis at minus 50. So I'm going to write x minus 50. I'm then going to the y-axis which is going to remain at 0 which is at ground level and then on the z-axis we're going to start at minus 2. So just to explain roughly what's going on so far we're going to start basically 50 blocks back on the x-axis 
and then we're going to be starting at ground level so y is equal to zero and then for z minus two we're just shifting ourselves two spaces across on the z axis it's all going to make sense in a minute so let's keep writing once we've got those starting coordinates in we then need to type in the three end coordinates okay so where would we like to finish building our path so on the x-axis I'm going to finish building at plus 50 so we started at minus 50 on the x-axis we're finishing at plus 50 that makes our path a hundred blocks long for the y-axis we're going to stay as it is at zero we don't want to come up above ground level we don't want to go building into the ground we're just going to stay at ground level so we're going to leave the y equal to zero and for the z-axis I'm going to finish at plus two so we started at minus two on the z-axis we finished at plus two that makes our path four blocks wide the final thing we need to add in here is which block we're going to be using to build the path and we know from what we wrote earlier we're going to be using the stone block so we're just using that stone variable in here and we'll close the brackets off and that's it I know it's a little bit confusing but that line of code should build us a path so save your work as number five path give it a run and you might not see it straight away you may need to look around a little bit but there is our path and you can look both ways to see that it's running all the way along the x-axis here up to about minus 50 so I'm just walking to the end of this path and I want you to look at something in a sec so when I get to the end of it here have a look up here at your position we're basically at minus 50 there okay if we turn around you can go to the other end if you want and it would take you to plus 50 on the x-axis if you look at your z-axis here we can move side to side to see that it's just two blocks wide each side of that axis so it's four blocks wide in total and that's how you build a simple path in Minecraft now just to extend on what we've done here I'm gonna add a second path in that runs in a different direction so at the moment our path is running along the x-axis by 100 blocks what I might do is run one along the z-axis so we create an intersection so I'm just going to add another line of, line of code in here that says mc.setBlocks and it's going to be x minus 2 for my starting position now then y and then z minus 50 so they're the starting coordinates for my second path and then I'm going to do x plus 2 which makes our path four blocks wide again we started at minus two on the x-axis finished at plus two y-axis is going to stay the same as it is at zero and then z is going to be z plus 50 okay so we started at minus 50 on the z-axis finished at plus 50 so our path is 100 blocks long again but this time running along the z-axis instead of the x-axis I then want you to write stone in to finish off with just to say we're building with stone again and that ought to do it save it again give it a run and hopefully now as you spin around you can see mine here you've got your next path in so you've got one running along the x-axis one running along the z-axis and you've now created yourself an intersection so that's all I'm going to show you in this video but this is going to be coming in handy in future lessons when you build things like houses and buildings and whatnot you could line them up next to the path here or even a road and start to make yourself a little city all right so we are building towards bigger and better things this is just the start all right so I'll stop the video there that is how you create yourself a path or a simple road using a bit of Python code